In our last video, I took us to a couple of thrift stores where we found some great money makers. But at that first thrift store, that's where Sherry struck gold. We're gonna be rich! Found three pieces. This is Vitri? Vitri. V-I-E-T-R-I. Vitri? Vitri? Vietri. Made in Italy. At that second thrift store, they were having 75% off the clothing and household items. And that is where we're going again today. All right, it looks like we may be the only ones here at the moment. Yeehaw, let's get in here and grab these deals. All right, what we got here? Bedding, 50% off. Clothing, 75. Boutique, 25. Saturday, entire store, 25% off. And check out the furniture. All right, let's do it. That's a shame they're broken. What a shame. I am going, going to try, try is a keyword, to go through the glass. I've been studying up on a little bit of what to look for. I have mentioned Dr. Lori in the past. I will link her channel, but she gave some really great information on what to look for. So I'm going to take just a little time to look through the glass just to see if we can find, you know, that hidden treasure. I used to pick up a lot of mugs years ago. I don't do it as much unless they really stand out. And that's really pretty. But I hate when it's just one. Two is better than one. Mm, that's interesting. Let's take this down and take a look at it. Just a metal boat with a lighthouse. $12, even with 75% off. Hmm. Why would that be $12? No idea. That's unusual. You have it. Like a sponge paint. I mean, they're not the prettiest, <laughs> but sometimes things that aren't the prettiest are worth the most money. Hmm. Tiny little chip up there. Pretty heavy. I like the colors of it. I love dark and moody. Um, that could be touched up with a little bit of rub and buff. $35? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, that's pretty. Is that a little jewelry box? Oh, that's right cute. Is it glass? It feels like glass. A little bit of the motif is missing. A little chip on the corner, but that's rather cute. All right, appetizer plates, $10, of course, 75% off. They're from Pier 1. So these might be worth looking up because Pier 1's out of business, aren't they? I don't know what it is, but when I get in this part of this thrift store, my internet doesn't want to work. They don't want me looking up stuff. It's a conspiracy. But you know what? We're going to put it in the cart. And once we move around the store, hopefully the internet will come back. All right, I keep saying I'm not going to pick up mugs. Crate and Barrel. Crate and Barrel's a really great name. Hmm. 10 pieces, $7. I don't see 10 pieces up here. Hmm. I do like that though. It's really pretty. Mm, this may be worth just picking up just because of the 
how cheap I am going to get it. Oh, here we go. I think that's it. And that's just three of them. And it was $24 it sold for. Huh, $24 it sold for three. This is a box of new ones. There's four in there. So yeah, we are going to get this. I found these. They're just uh, saucers. Oh my goodness. Chica, Chica Monga, Chica, what the heck? I don't think that's right. All right, let me see if I can find one that doesn't have the label over it. Okay, here we go. Made in Japan. Oh, it's chipped right there, though. It's such a beautiful theme, motif. Oh, my goodness, that's beautiful. Mm, they are, though. All of them have a little bit of the paint off of them. This would be really good to sell as replacements if somebody needed them, but... Oh, that is just so sad. I love the artwork on there. All right, I'm not understanding some of the pricing in here. This basket, $20. A box? That's highway robbery. Of course, it's 75% off, so I'm wondering, did they, you know, up price everything because they know they're having a sale? Because the prices used to not be like that in this store. So, not exactly sure what's going on at the moment. But with 75% off, I am finding some goodies. Now, I'm going to quickly look through shoes. I still have all of the hard goods over there to look through. And I still need to look through the linens along with clothing. So, it's going to be a busy day. Okay, I didn't find any shoes today, so we are going to check out the rest of the housewares they have here. They just have this one shelf that I haven't looked through, and then we'll head over to the bed linens. Hmm, that's pretty. Who makes this? Uh, Tabletop Unlimited. It's made in China. I do like the great motif on it, though. Huh. We may have to consider this. I am curious about these. These are finials. Four dollars, seventy-five percent off. Two of them here. I need to look those up. And then I see there's another one here. There might be more in the basket. They look like they're in really great condition. I mean, they're still packaged. Uh, looks like the gold is coming off of that one. in good condition. All right, now that I have them in my cart, watch them not be worth anything, and I gotta put all of them back. All right, I'm hoping the barcode will scan these. Uh, of course, nothing shows up. Okay, there's some listed. I didn't see any sold, but honestly, I think they're $4 a piece with 75% off. They'd probably still be worth getting, listing, and just let them sit in my eBay store for a while because they're new in package, and they look pretty good. I'm also looking for items that may not be huge money makers, but they might be something that can sell through very quickly. Because that's one important thing about your eBay store is how quickly things can sell through. It'll help generate more sales for you. And so if I have some really good money makers on there, but I also have some that are, you know, inexpensive, but that can generate more sales. I don't mind doing that. So I am trying to find items that, you know, are not huge money makers but something that someone may love that i can make a little money off of just to get my store going again I'm not sure exactly what this is, but I like it. I guess you could just sit around and put jewelry in or something like that. It's really heavy. I don't see a maker's mark. But I like it. I don't know if I'll get it, but I like it. Mm, made in China. It's rather cute, though. I guess if you were to put this in a beach house or something, rather cute. Wouldn't want to ship it, though. But, yeah, just something made in China. Fifteen. Oh. No, thank you. I would love to find something like I found at that thrift store we went to. It was a little thrift store where I found Ralph Lauren. It was a Ralph Lauren duvet cover, $15. I 
as I'm recording this. I haven't sold it just yet. If you missed that video, I will link it in the cards for you. That's interesting. All right, I've gone through all of the housewares, the linens, the knickknacks, paddy wax. Give a dog a boot. Went through all of the hard goods. Now I'm gonna find a quiet place, go through my cart, and then I'm gonna take you to another section of the thrift store that has Christmas lamps, artwork, furniture, things like that. We're now in the other building. Let's see what they've got. All Christmas 75, lamp 75, artwork 75, furniture 25 to 75. All right. I always like finding new in box items. Okay, that's cool. Uncle Santa. Oh, do I really want to ship a snow globe? It looks to be in really great condition. Oh my goodness. Yes or no? Oh, heck no. I wish I could find some. Pottery Barn Christmas items on that would be the bomb. I don't think I've ever found any from Pottery Barn at the thrift store, but I know that there are stockings and things like that go for a lot of money. Those are interesting, huh? Made in China. They're not bad though, but uh, they feel a little cheap. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, it's got some damage though. 35, but I think it's like 25 to 75% off. But I do like the legs on it. But I don't. Yeah, it's wood. It's wood. Uh, I just don't want to buy anything I have to redo. But that is nice. We're going to put the snow globe back because I found a couple other goodies and I'm a little afraid to ship a snow globe and really none have sold and there's I don't know maybe 10 or 15 listed maybe a mistake but you know you live and learn in this reselling business uh -oh. we're going to quickly go through clothing so we can get to the hard goods one item I'm going to need some help on. I've done some research on it and, you know, I got my PhD in Google. That sounds made up. So that's how I find a lot of my information. Oh, I Googled it. But I'm still not finding a lot. I'm thinking it may be something, but then again, it may not. Going off with the men's clothing, I first found this blue Sex Fifth Avenue linen shirt. Nothing spectacular about it. It is just a very nice staple for a man to have in his wardrobe. Just a beautiful blue and white stripe. Next is this Northeast Terrain Company. This is just a pullover, a three-quarter zip pullover. It's kind of like the fleece Sherpa look to it, I guess you call it, with a heathered kind of effect to it. Next, Woolrich. I love picking up wool, wool, wool. Say that three times fast. I love picking up Woolrich sweaters. Absolutely gorgeous. Has kind of a Southwestern Aztec theme to it. Love the colorway on it. It is a men's sweater. It is hand knit and it is gorgeous. If you see the Woolrich sweaters, pick them up because they do pretty well on eBay. Next is a Tommy Hilfiger. I love this. I love this style. I love the colorway. The Tommy Hilfiger, like the vintage ones, this, and if you can find the pastel ones, do really well for me on eBay. And the last men's shirt I found is this flannel LLB bean shirt. I love the combination of green and blue together. This will sell. Usually these vintage shirts, um, especially large, it's an extra large shirt, really sell very well for me. And I don't know what I'm going to price these at the moment. I will link my eBay store in case you're interested in just, you know, snooping around, just, you know, kind of seeing what I got in there. That's okay. You can snoop. I'll allow it. Anytime I find these denim dresses, I pick them up. I pick up the ones that are jumpers. I mentioned in a previous video, I kind of look at these like house dresses, chore dresses. I really like this. This is from Blair. Blair 
Are, is Blair still around? Is, it, is that a catalog? I believe, I believe it's a catalog, Blair catalog. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it has the beautiful buttons on here. Very just, you know, modest style, nothing really fancy or anything like that, but just a good overall and it has pockets. You guys know how I feel about pockets. Why is she so obsessed? Yeah, love it already. Never go wrong with pockets. I believe it was in our last video where I shared that Western shirt. It kind of made me look like Woody's girlfriend from Toy Story. It is small. It is Western Trends by Panhan... Pan... Western Trends by Panhandle Slim. And it is slim. They weren't lying. This is a slim fit. Kind of makes me feel like I'm Woody's girlfriend on Toy Story. Don't eat too much. You might pop a button with this shirt on. Well, I found two more at the same thrift store. The same name on here, the same maker as the other shirt. I believe someone just donated their shirts. I didn't see these the last time we were there. Maybe they just put them out after I left. Once again, from Panhandle Slim, look at this pristine condition, has the beautiful pearl buttons. It even still has the original hanger to go with it. Originally priced at $32.95. This looks like it's from the 70s, I'm guessing that, but still has the bow tie hook to it. That blue is just so fantastic. And then this one has the ruffles on it. It has a little spot on there. I'm gonna to have to wash this. When it comes to my clothing that I pick up, if I feel like I need to throw it in the washing machine, I do. If I feel like all it needs is to be steamed, then I just steam it. Steaming kills a lot of germs and bacteria. So if I don't see any stains on it and it doesn't smell, I will steam it. But in cases like this, I will throw it in the washing machine just to see if I can get that spot out. But I love this. I love the shoulders on here. That is so gorgeous. And the size, it just says a 10, 22. What is this? This is a 12, 34. Why doesn't it say small, medium, or large? Why is this so complicated? I did pick up one tie. I love this. All the flowers on here. I think it's just gorgeous. Look really good with a man dressed up, you know, white shirt, even a pink shirt. I think would look really great with this. But it's just CJ. Andrews. I don't think it's really anything amazing, but once again, just the colorway on here and the print attracted me to it. I picked up a couple of sweatshirts. This first one is in tribute to September 11th. God bless America. It is by the Lee Jeans Company. This, I don't know how much it'll go for, but I didn't want to leave it behind. It's very patriotic. Even if someone wanted to wear this, I don't know. I don't know if you'd wear it on the 4th of July because it's a sweatshirt. Why are you wearing a sweater when it's 95 degrees? But it was in really great condition. I already threw it in the washing machine. It came out looking fantastic. And the second one is Aaliyah. If you're not sure who Aaliyah is, she was a hip hop artist back in the 90s. She passed away in a plane crash. I don't know how many years ago it was. She was so young, but it is in fantastic condition. I love wearing oversized you know, sweatshirts like this with some jeans, a little pair of kids. I think it's so cute, a little pair of Converse. I just love the way it looked. It was in excellent condition and I love the gold and the black, but yeah, really great sweatshirts. A lot of times when you pick up sweatshirts though, especially white ones, look at the collar because sometimes you can get that yellowing around there. This had that, I pre-treated it, I washed it in some hot water and it came out looking fantastic. Also, when you're picking up men's shirts, always look at the collar. There is some yellowing in there sometimes, depending on the color of the shirt. I have been able to get that out majority of the time. Sometimes I will leave it behind if I think I really can't get it out. And unless it's a really expensive shirt, I always let the buyer know, hey, there's just a little bit of yelling on the inside of the collar. You're not really gonna see it, but I always like to point it out because I never want the buyer to get something and realize I didn't actually share it with them. Hey, there's a little bit of yellowing, there's this and that. I feel a lot better if I just lay it all out there and say, hey, this is it. It's got some yellowing, just letting you know. I did find a couple of cardigans. This first one is from J. Jill. I love the look of this and I think, yes, this is acrylic wool and just 1% alpaca, but it is so soft and so beautiful. And I love this oversized safety pin that's on here to close the cardigan. So gorgeous, love the colors on here. And then I found this. If you've been with me just for a little bit, you know I love unique sweaters. Now, I may not personally wear them, but I love to sell them and I love to pick them up. This. 
How adorable is this? I have picked up this brand before. This is Design Options by Philip and Jane Gordon. They have some really great vintage sweaters, handmade. Look at that. Couldn't you see like a school teacher wearing this, like a kindergartner teacher wearing something like that? Oh my gosh. I think it is precious. All handmade. The color is just amazing. Now, would I wear it? Probably not. But I could see a school teacher wearing this and I could see the little kids just getting a kick out of this. It is so adorable. These can go anywhere between 40, sometimes $75, depending on how unique they are. But things like this, I am gravitated toward now. Like I said before, I may not wear them, but I know someone else is gonna love it. I found this sweater from Talbot's. Look at the beautiful pearls on here. How fantastic is this? I would wear something like this. I think this is so beautiful. Talbot's makes really great clothing, but the pearls on here, if it didn't have the pearls, I wouldn't have picked it up. The pearls are what sold me on this sweater because without it, it would just have been a plain gray sweater. Even with a name like Talbot's, I still wouldn't have picked it up, but the pearls, the pearls are what did it for me. And the last of the clothing I picked up is a skort. I like picking up skorts. This is by PGA Golf, I believe. Yes, PGA Golf. And I loved the design on here. The colorway is fantastic. It is an excellent, excellent condition. I will say whenever you pick up skorts, it might be a little TMI, but kind of check the crotch area. What did she say? Just check to see if there's any wear on there. I like to look at that. That's one of the first places I look. I don't care how beautiful the skort is. I always look in the nether regions first. This is a size extra large. I just think it is fantastic. Once again, I don't remember how much it was, I was just throwing stuff in the cart. The way I looked at it, I knew the stuff was 75% off. So I figured, you know, if I have $100 stuff in here, it's only gonna cost me 25. So I just kept throwing the stuff in the cart and I figured, you know, we, we'll figure it out when we get the cash register. Heading on to hard goods. I found this beautiful, very heavy, I'm guessing this is iron, but it has a very beautiful green hue to it. This is just a wine holder just to put on your counter. This was originally $8 and I wouldn't have paid $8 for it, but it was 75% off. I figure I could probably make some money off of this. Once again, I love the design. I love the green hue to it. And I like that it was 75% off. Oh, because you're so cheap. I found this Chanel bottle. Now I wish the Chanel label would have been on the front it's just right there on the band. You see the two C's right there. But I know a lot of people just love collecting bottles, just put on their vanity. I'm the exact same way. I love a good perfume bottle, but it was a dollar with 75% off. So even if I sell it between 10 and $12, still making some money. I saw this cute little old lady sitting on the shelf when I walked into the thrift store. Granny! It would have been something if I had actually seen an old lady on the shelf, but it wasn't. It was just a granny on the shelf. Instead of elf on the shelf, granny on the shelf. And it looks like she's gambling. She's gambling. She's probably out in where? Las Vegas or who knows where else. It was $7. Once again, I wouldn't have paid $7 if it hadn't been 75% off. I do believe there's another little old woman that goes with her, her friend, where she goes out gambling. But I think it's adorable. I think someone is going to love her. At the store where they're having 75% off, I'm wondering if they kind of jacked up the prices on a few things, knowing that they were doing a 75% off sale because I found these appetizer plates. These are from Pier 1 and they're marked $10. I would not pay $10 for these, but they're going, you know, right around 25, something like that. So I took a gamble on them with 75% off. The plates are gorgeous. They're brand new in the box. And I believe Pier 1 is out of business now. So a lot of people are looking for things like this. And I thought it was beautiful. It has the four different flowers in there. Absolutely gorgeous. I would keep them for myself, but I have a ton of plates already and I don't need to add to my collection. So I think I'll probably price these probably around $20, $25. I mentioned in a previous video to be on the lookout for discontinued wallpaper, vintage wallpaper. Well, another name to look out for whenever you look at wallpaper is Schumacher. Schumacher, their fabrics, their wall coverings, I'm going to pop up some prices up here of, of what they sell for. Can you believe that? 
The only problem is with some of the discontinued ones, you really don't know the name of the print. Now there is a pattern number on here and it tells you the run number that's on here as well but it doesn't have like what the actual name is. So usually for things like that, I will just put in Schumacher, discontinued print, the pattern number, and I may even kind of put a description of what this is. To me, this is like a Chevron and really close up, it kind of reminds me of a zebra print. So I will put all those keywords in there and I'm thinking of selling these. I'm going to start the bidding or at least put the buy it now at $100. I have sold Schumacher before. I have sold York and I have garnered sometimes $60 a roll on their wallpaper. Make sure the ends still look good and that they're not squished where they have, you know, fallen and hit anywhere. And these are sealed. I looked at the ends very, very carefully. Now they had them priced at $6 a piece, which I may have picked them up even at six dollars. I, I just don't know. Yeah, I probably would. These finials, I really like them. They are the Fleur de Lis, and it looks like they are. What do you call that with the paper and the gold on it? And you put it on there. What's that called? Gold leaf. Well, that's what these look like. They are really, really beautiful. I found four of them. The original price was four dollars a piece, but picking them up, what would that make that like? A dollar a piece? Is that what that was? I don't like that. This beautiful bowl. I want to keep it for myself, but can't. I need the money for the flooring. I'm trying to save up for the kitchen. They had this originally priced. Now, I don't think they had it originally priced, but it came from maybe an antique store, maybe a vendor's booth or something. They just got rid of all their things. Someone had it priced at $45. So I guess the thrift store saw that and they're thinking, huh, this vendor or antique mall was trying to get 45. Let's try to get 15 out of it. I wouldn't have paid 15 for this. Once again, I know I sound like a broken record. You don't have to say it. It was 75% off. I think this is fantastic. Put this in your kitchen. You could put it beside your stove. Put like your salt, your pepper, your olive oil, everything you use to cook with. You could put it on a coffee bar, put some K cups in here, put some tea bags in here, or sit your coffee and your creamer dishes in this. Put it in your bathroom, put some towels in here, all of your, um, washcloths. There's so many uses for a wood bowl and it is so beautiful. Once again, I want to keep it, but I may try pricing it at 40. So I think I'd rather have the 40 than the bowl. I think it's a beautiful bowl. Moving on to two items that I am so so thrilled about finding. They were at the other part of the thrift store. They have two buildings. One houses the, you know, the clothing, the knickknacks, the doodads, and the other holds a lot of furniture, lamps, Christmas items, and artwork. I found this federal mirror. Now there wasn't a price on it. So she tried to find the manager. The manager wasn't in the building at the time because she wasn't sure what it was going to be priced at. She thought the manager was going to price it around $40 or so with 75% off. And I believe I ended up picking it up for $10. There wasn't a price on it. So she let me just have it for $10. Now it is by is that uh, Sirocco? 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 And I believe that these were made in Syracuse, New York. I think that's why it's called Sirocco. I could be wrong, but made in the USA. I think it is so beautiful. And right when I saw it, I knew what it was. Now it's not antique, it is vintage. Uh, from the 50s, 60s, mid-century modern kind of look to it. I love it. And I think I'm going to price it right around the $100 mark. Sirocco was a Syracuse, New York based manufacturing company. They were called the Syracuse Ornamental Company. They were founded in 1890 by Adolph Holstein. In their earlier years, they manufactured ornamental pieces made from molded wood pulp. But with a change over to molded plastics, that began around 1960. And that is the one that I have. And looking up the comps on them for this one, this is model 4010. It looks like they're going anywhere for $100 or more. I also found this. This beautiful lamp, it was $6 with 75% off. I've done a lot of research on it. And from what I can tell is that this was originally an oil lamp and they turned it into an electric lamp. 
Um, I love that it has where you can put the two bulbs in here. And then you could just put, you know, um, your lampshade on top of it. The finial is on here, which is perfect because a lot of times you don't see the finial on there. And you can see where it was an oil lamp. And when I look on here, it is in French. I'm not even going to try. I'm not even going to try. But the oil lamp was from H&R. And once again, the rest is in French. And when I look up things like this, it's saying somewhere the 19th century when these oil lamps were produced in France. I still need to do more work on it. But if you know some more information on this, let me know. It is heavy and I'm fighting to not keep it. I fight to keep, not keep anything, everything, yeah. I love it. Oh my gosh. I want to keep it so badly. But if I can sell it for hundreds of dollars, yeah, I, I, I'll take the money, I think. I was able to make out a few of the words on the oil lamp, and one is moderator. Of course, it's in French. But the moderator lamp is a type of 19th century oil lamp. It replaced a more complicated one, and it looks like people after a while we'll take these and turn them into lamps so the oil lamp itself looks like it is from the 19th century and someone just converted it into an electric lamp we started off this trip to the thrift 170 dollars and that first thrift store i spent 34 dollars and 16 cents and in the other part of that same thrift store i spent 13 dollars and 61 cents for a total of 47 dollars and 77 cents for 32 items so if you break that down per item, I spent roughly $1.49 for each item I picked up. And now we're left with $122.23 that we can use for the rest of March. I hope you are enjoying the video so far. Over the past couple of weeks, I've picked up a few new subscribers. You like me. You really like me. And I want to say thank you and welcome to the community. If you are new, leave me a comment below. Let me welcome you to the community. I hope you are enjoying everything so far. I would love it if you hit the like button and leave me a comment. That really helps me so much with these videos. It helps push these videos out into the algorithm so more people can see my videos. I need you to watch this video. If you want to catch up on all of my videos with my Starting From Zero series, I'll leave that playlist right here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you at the next one.